Raider Nation, if you want Jim Harbaugh to be the Raiders head coach next season, I want you to like the video right now. Because coming up here on today's show, the video that I have, if you want Harbaugh, there's going to be a big, big smile on your face. Raider Nation, what's going on? It's Mitchell Renz here, host of the Raiders Board. And today's show, presented by Panda Subs. If anybody wants to go get started with Panda Subs, they have the best workout supplements on the market. But they also got something new that I'm going to tell you about here in just a little bit that I promise you, you're not going to want to miss. Use code Raiders for 20% off at pandasubs.com. That link's going to be available to you all down in the comments, down in the description of today's show. So coming up here on the Raiders Board, the Jim Harbaugh to the NFL rumors are the hottest that they have ever been. And I mean, my stove at home, it goes up to 10. I'm putting this thing on an 11 right now because as far as I'm concerned, y'all might as well already consider Jim Harbaugh leaving Michigan and coming to the NFL. If you want to make sure that you are staying up to date on everything going on around Jim Harbaugh and the Raiders, hit that subscribe button, turn on those notifications because I can promise you this. There is not another person that covers the Raiders that has the sources that we do here at Chat Sports around Jim Harbaugh, around Michigan football, and around him potentially coming to the silver and black. Heck, I dropped this video back on December 19th, and once you know it, a lot of new sources coming out here, a lot of new stories talking about Jim Harbaugh potentially coming here to the Raiders, but I told y'all, Mark Davis got a contract ready. Where there's smoke, there is fire, and... For anybody out there that doesn't believe in a lot of the things that we're saying, it's okay. I earn it. you got to earn your stripes here. But guess what? Nin December 19th, the proof is in the pudding. You want to go check out that video? Go subscribe. Check it out because I'm telling you, nobody's going to be covering the Harbaugh to the Raiders stuff like we will here. So in case you do not know, the Harbaugh to the NFL rumors are as hot as they've ever been because according to Paul Feinbaum, who's an ESPN insider and... He's, how I would explain it to a lot of people, is he's like the Adam Schefter of college football, where he is ESPN's go-to insider to break big-time college football news. And Feinbaum, on Get Up recently said that he is confident. And when you actually listen to him talk throughout it, I mean, it sounds like 100% Jim Harbaugh is leaving Michigan and going to the NFL. So when you get a guy like Paul Feinbaum saying, Harbaugh's leaving Michigan. I mean, that's just like Adam Schefter popping up here on this show and saying Jim Harbaugh's leaving Michigan. When Feinbaum says something like that, everybody needs to listen. And he believes that he's going to the NFL after the college football playoffs, which it was something that we talked about again back on December 19th. But I always say this, right? And you always got to remember this. It's not just on the Raiders report. It's in life. Actions speak louder than words. Hell, I can literally hear my dad, I'm a little kid, man, playing sports, baseball, basketball. My dad used to always say, oh, actions speak louder than words. But I also always say on the show, where there is smoke, there is fire. And if you've been following the trail of smoke, that's going to lead you to fire sooner or later. And with the amount of smoke that started on December 19th, there was a lot out there. Then the Raiders beat the Chiefs, right? And then I actually thought it was going to be done. They were going to get AP. But with what has happened over just the last five days, I am telling y'all right now, when we talked about Jim Harbaugh potentially coming to the Raiders two years ago, back in 2022, there is more smoke right now around Harbaugh going to the NFL, around Harbaugh going to the Raiders, than what there was two years ago, and it ain't close. So let's follow along with this timeline, because I get it. My job here on the Raiders Sports is keep you guys up to date. Don't get me wrong. I like to have a good time on live. I like to bang. I like to do a few beer bongs here and there, maybe a boop. But at the end of the day, my job is to keep you guys up to date. So if you've been busy during the holidays, maybe you haven't been following along here with our timeline of keeping everything up to date here going on around Harbaugh. So on December 19th, the Raiders, I reported here on the show that they have a contract ready to go to Jim Harbaugh. Why? Because we have somebody very close to a lot of the agents, a lot of the lawyers that Jim Harbaugh has been working with. We reported that Harbaugh's got a Michigan agent, he's got an NFL agent, and he's got a lawyer. 
but the Raiders have been making backdoor communications with Harbaugh because of all the great relationships that they've had. A source told us that Mark Davis is going to have that contract ready after the CFB playoffs. Shocker, that's what everybody's reporting now. And we know that Mark Davis is great friends with Harbaugh. Let's fast forward a little bit here a week later. December 25th, Michigan doesn't get a deal done. If you remember, it was reported by Ian Rappaport on December 24th that apparently Michigan offered Harbaugh a 10-year, $125 million deal. But with Harbaugh, he wanted that deal by Christmas. And he said he will not negotiate until after the season is done. Harbaugh's team was extremely unhappy that Michigan did not give him a long-term deal. And even though Harbaugh is a Michigan man, it's where he played college football, it's where he wanted to coach in 2024. But because they said no or they didn't take him as serious, slash the NCAA has been down Harbaugh's you-know-what, this is why he now wants to go to the NFL. I'm always a believer, too, that even though the NFL is a insider's league, if you will, I do know this. When guys start talking, people talk a lot, right? And as soon as the Los Angeles Chargers caught wind that the Raiders were legit contenders in Jim Harbaugh sweepstakes, wouldn't you know it? Report comes out, Chargers now are showing interest in Mr. Michigan himself. There was even reported that they'd be willing to offer him a $15 million per year deal. The reason why it's smart for the Chargers to do that is because that puts the Raiders asking price up a little bit. So you have all these things linking up. Then the big one that happened on December 31st. I get it, it was New Year's Eve. You maybe weren't paying attention, but Harbaugh hires Tom Brady's agent. The fact that Harbaugh hired Don Yee, I mean, this is probably one of the biggest things out there that I don't think people were really talking about. Now, don't get me wrong. We were talking about here on the Raiders report, and then once you know it, every single person, the Athletic, ESPN, CBS, everybody starts picking up this story. But the fact that Harbaugh hired Don Yee to represent him, Yee is Tom Brady's agent, and Don Yee is extremely well-connected with the Raiders organization. In fact, he's also Jimmy Garoppolo's agent. He is extremely tied in with a lot of the people that Mark Davis talked to before he hired Josh McDaniels. I don't want you to get worried about more Josh McDaniels BS, but Don Yee is so well-connected with the Raiders that, like, the fact that Harbaugh hired Don Yee is the biggest smoke that I can offer. But then, now most recently, January 3rd, Paul Feinbaum says that Harbaugh's leaving Michigan. So, again, like, I know the whole smoke to fire thing is kind of an old shtick for some people, but, like, this is what people do, right? People talk. Cool. Don't listen to what people say, right? Because you can get a guy like Mark Davis saying, I like where the Raiders are at at 2-7. and seven. Don't, don't listen to what people say. Watch actions because that is so much more important to actually see what ends up happening. So, P Paul Feinbaum says, hey, Jim Harbaugh's living, leaving the Michigan Wolverines said that he's confident in it. And the fact that Feinbaum just has this track, track record, I mean, as far as I'm concerned, Harbaugh's done at Michigan. Yeah, he's going to have a, he's going to coach them against Washington in the national championship game, which we will be live for. Hit that subscribe button. But if he, Paul Feinbaum's saying that he's leaving Michigan and with all this other stuff going on, I'm telling you what, right now, there has never been more smoke around Harbaugh joining the Las Vegas Raiders than what there is right now. It's probably why Chugs has been over there choking the whole time. Coming up next here on the show, a very important report that I think a lot of people are forgetting. Now, we talked about this all the way back in November. I'm talking early, early November, and I get it. A lot of shit happens, right? You got Thanksgiving, Christmas, Hanukkah, the holidays, an NFL season. A lot of different stuff goes on, and people forget things. But don't worry. I got you guys back, and coming up, I'm going to tell you what that important report was. But if you don't already know, man, today's show is sponsored and presented by Panda Sups. And I am really excited because I love all Panda Sups products. And I've always been trying to eat healthier. And I mean, let's face it, it's New Year, right? New Year, new me. And if you're like me, one of the things that I'm really, really trying to do is cut down on my sodium intake. Uh, the doctors have told me that, Mitch, you got to lower that down a little bit. And I'm really excited that Panda Sups is doing this. So introducing Panda Sups Premium Season Prep in partnership with Jeffrey Harris, who has over 1 million Instagram followers. Elevate your prep game to a whole new level. Join the Panda family in embracing a healthier, tastier lifestyle with Panda Supplements. 
and Jeffrey Harris's premium prep seasonings. Specifically crafted to tantalize your taste buds, these seasonings boost an impressive zero calorie count per 710 milligram serving, ensuring guilt-free enjoyment with every sprinkle. Each serving contains under 100 milligrams of sodium, making it smart choice for those mindful of their salt intake. Crafted with care, using real high-quality ingredients, including a delightful blend of salt, honey, paprika, garlic, onion, pepper, parsley, and more, our seasonings guarantee an explosion of flavor in every bite. Whether you offer something sweet like cinnamon honey butter, the classic appeal of herb and butter, the earthy essence of roasted veggies, the spicy kick of Taco Tuesday, the fiery heat of Texas heat, or the harmonious blend of Hefe Special, there's a flavor for every palate. Elevate your culinary creations and make truly unforgettable flavor experience with prep premium seasoning. Shout out to Panda Sups for hooking up the nation. Remember, use code Raiders for 20% off at pandasups.com. That link's going to be available to you all down in the comments, down in the description of today's show. Each one of these, less than 10 bucks. Sounds pretty good to me. I know uh, we're always trying to eat here on the Raiders Report. So the fact that Panda's doing this, man, awesome, awesome stuff. All right, coming up here is a very, very important report that I do think a lot of people amongst Raider Nation are forgetting. And it's something that I do think kind of goes into the Don Yee thing of why when that happened, I was like, holy shit. He hired who? Don Yee? Big time news. So how many people out there remember the report from CBS that said Tom Brady will advise Mark Davis on who the next Raiders head coach is going to be and the next GM? How many people out there remember it? It's okay if you're honest with me. If you're watching this live right now, say me. If you don't, it's all good. But one of the biggest top trending reports out there right when they fired Josh McDaniels, and maybe you missed it. We were live for 26 straight hours. But the fact that it was reported that Tom Brady is going to have a big influence on Mark Davis in the next head coaching cycle, NGM, and then Jim Harbaugh goes out and hires Don Yee. <laughs> oh, man. Because... You're going to hire the same agent as Brady, who's also very well connected to the Raiders. Like, there are certain teams, there are certain owners that believe in different mantras, mottos, that believe in certain things. And the Raiders, I think, have always run their organization, if you will, like a family. You know what I mean? And when you think about the fact that Harbaugh hires Don Yee, the same agent as Brady, Brady and Harbaugh have tons of connections together from Michigan. And then you add on top of that, Harbaugh and Mark Davis are very well connected in their own right, right? Like, like what Mark Davis loves is relationships. It's a fact. Like, Mark Davis, if you have a previous relationship with Mark Davis and he feels like he can trust you on that friendly family basis, you're going to get bumped up that pedigree scale because that's what he values. Because the Raiders run their organization like a family because that's what Mark Davis believes in. So the fact that Harbaugh played at Michigan from 1982 to 1986, now Tom Brady's a part owner of the team, that means something. Jim has been the head coach of Michigan since 2015. That means something. Harbaugh's first NFL coaching gig was back in Oakland in 2002. That all means something to Mark Davis. And when I think about this entire thing on Harbaugh to Las Vegas, Mark Davis cares about relationships. And the fact that Harbaugh has a solid one with Tom Brady, has a solid relationship with Mark Davis, and had a great relationship with Al Davis is why the probability of Jim coming to the Raiders is the most likely it has ever been. A few weeks ago, I was on this show, and I was like, man, I get it. There's a lot of rumors out there, and I try to keep it to you guys straight. I want the Raiders to keep Antonio Pierce because that also means to me that they're going to keep Patrick Graham, and I want the defensive side of the football to be there. If it was up to me, I'm going to go out and find a quarterback. I'm going to go out and find an OC, and that's how I would do it. But I also understand the idea that you're going to bring in Jim Harbaugh, who has never lost anywhere he has been. Like, I get the idea of bringing in Jim. So coming up, the other thing that people don't know slash are forgetting, and this was something that we talked about back on December 19th that just kind of adds another layer. It adds another thing to why Harbaugh definitely can come to the Raiders and why people should not think about, shouldn't think that it's a crazy idea. I'll tell you what that is in just a moment. However, Jeremy Chuggs and I, we are going to be live on Monday. Washington, Michigan. Must watch game, man. I can't wait for this football game. Michael Penix Jr., J.J. McCarthy. 
The Huskies are underdogs in this one by four and a half points. The over under 55 and a half. So I got to ask you, right? Who you got? Type W for Washington. Type M for Michigan. You know, last night or two nights ago, Chugs and I were talking about this game. I think Washington's going to win. Jeremy said Michigan's going to win. However, when we go live, we're just going to be hoping for a good football game overall. I'm not going to be mad either way. If Michigan wins, shout out to Jim Harbaugh. Shout out to Charles Woodson. If anything, I'd probably be more happy that Michigan won for Woodson than anything else. But I want to know who you got. And if you want to join Jeremy and I live for the Natty, hit that subscribe button, y'all. So coming up, the thing that a lot of people are forgetting. The thing that people are forgetting is a lot of times the most influential people in our own lives. Like, you know, you get a guy like Jim Harbaugh. He's already made all the money in the world. Like, not, I mean, he's obviously a very, very wealthy man, right? Um, but he's also probably at that point of his career where he's had a lot of success. And, you know, maybe he wants to do what wifey tells him. And don't get me wrong. Like, I love y'all. <laughs> I love y'all very, very much. But if my fiance Alex were to come up to me and say, hey, let's do this. That's really going to persuade my decision making. And I think everybody out there, like if you're married, you got a significant other, that, that's going to persuade your decision making. And one of the things that we talked about back on December 19th was that Harbaugh's wife has been pushing him to go back to Vegas. And when I say go back to Vegas, it's because that's where they met. Harbaugh met his wife in Las Vegas at a P.F. Chang's parking lot. And I mean, that just sounds right out of a hangover movie, if you ask me. But she was a real estate agent before Marion Harbaugh, and maybe she wants to go back to her old stomping grounds. Like, to me, if it really came down to the Bears, the Chargers, the Raiders, if wifey tells you, let's go to Las Vegas, and all these teams are probably willing to offer you similar amount of money, you also got to remember, you're probably going to make more with the Raiders because of income tax and all that. Why would you not go back to Las Vegas? Why would you not go back to where it all started for him in the NFL. He had a great job, great run at Michigan. Now is the time to go to the Raiders. So, like, here's my honest take on this, right? I love Antonio Pierce, man. That guy, he is a Raider through and through, and it, it's contagious. You, you have a guy like Antonio Pierce, I think that's how it is. It, it's contagious. And I love Antonio Pierce, and I think him and Champ Kelly should return in 2024. However, Harbaugh has always won wherever he's gone, and – you can't really dispute that. If you're telling me right now, Mitch, we're either going to have Antonio Pierce or Jim Harbaugh as the next Raiders head coach in 2024, that's a just win, baby. I mean, that's a win. That's not a bad move. Like, if they hire AP over Harbaugh, I'm not going to be upset. I'm going to be celebrating going crazy on this show. If they hire Harbaugh over Antonio Pierce, I'm not going to be upset. I'll feel bad for Antonio Pierce. I'll feel bad for that regime. I oh, mean, we just got Jim Harbaugh, one of the best head coaches in NFL college football, and I'm going to be celebrating that as well. But the reason why you do have to consider the fact that he's won everywhere is because, like, that's what the Raiders need. They need somebody that has had proof that not only can they win one year, but they can build a program. They can build and have success for the long run. And, you know, Harbaugh, he first started at San Diego, and they were 8-2 and two before he got there. Then they went 7-4, and 11-1, and 11-1. It's the best San Diego football has ever been was underneath Jim Harbaugh. Then Harbaugh at Stanford, the year before Harbaugh, the Cardinals, 1-11. Following year, 4-8, 5-7, 8-5, 12-1, and eight, five and seven, eight and five, 12 and one, right? Like, that's the Jim Harbaugh impact where you bring him in and he's going to transform some things. 6-10 and 10 before joining the 49ers, 13-3, and 11-4, and 12-4, 8-8, eight and eight, also went to a Super Bowl. Then at Michigan, 5-7 and seven before joining the Wolverines. I mean, think about what the success Michigan has had. And I think one of the reasons why they've had so much success, especially after COVID, is because you need somebody that knows how to not only be a head coach, but can be a leader of men and can run a solid organization and keep everything together. Like, what the Wolverines have been able to do the past three years, I mean, it shows me. I mean, the fact that you even, like, you want a big testament like, don't get me wrong, I get Devontae Adams stood up there and said, I want Antonio Pierce back. But man, you get some of these young players like a Blake Corum coming back for his senior year, like coming back to have a chance to win a national championship. And all those players, coaches, they were riding with hardball through all the bullshit that went on this season. I got a lot of respect for Jim. And I think everybody out there should know that if it's between Jim Harbaugh and Antonio Pierce, man, it's uh 
It's good news for the silver and black. So here's going to be my question to all of y'all out there. Who's the better head coach, Antonio Pierce or Jim Harbaugh? Let me know down below. If you think it's AP, give me an AP. If you think it's Jim Harbaugh, I want you to type JH. I will be happy with both AP and Harbaugh, and I believe that the Raiders are going to hire one of these coaches. If you want my honest opinion, the more and more I've been around this situation, I thought Antonio Pierce, once he beat the Chiefs, it was his job. Hell, I step, stood up here on the show and said, it's his job. They're not going to bring in Harbaugh. From what I have heard over the past week and from, again, it's not only just the talking. It's the hiring of Don Yee. Feinbaum saying he's leaving Michigan. I think that Mark Davis is going to go with the home run swing, as he always does. And if Jim Harbaugh is willing to come to the Raiders, that's going to be his number one pick. If that doesn't end up working out, then the fallback plan probably will be on Antonio Pierce. However, the reason why that that's not great for the Raiders is because if it's a swing and miss on Harbaugh, Antonio Pierce is like, well, I was your pick number two. And then that might mean like a guy like Patrick Graham might want to leave too because he doesn't know where the certainty of the Raiders goes. It's going to be an interesting thing. But luckily, we're going to have each other. We're going to keep it all going on throughout the offseason. And if you want to make sure that you know everything going on around the Raiders, you already know it. Hit that subscribe button.